What is up, YouTube? A9 here. Welcome back to episode 6 of Overengineering Survival. So, in the last episode, we did quite a bit of building, got the solar tower completely finished. Well, more or less completely. We got some solar panels on it, and that now it's generating power. Um, we built our refinery and assemblers. Um, we still need to be hooked up to cargo, so we can actually start using them. I'll probably get that done in this episode as well. But, for today's plan, we're going to be building a trailer for our mining rover, and this trailer is going to be a hydrogen carrier, and it's also going to be carrying a small hydrogen miner, which we're going to be using uh, to mine things we can't normally mine with a wheeled vehicle, so it'll be used for like mining out the area up top, where I'm going to put that living quarters uh, slash like maintenance shack uh, by the solar tower. Um, so, another thing happened in last episode, between reloads for some reason, uh, it decided to uninstall every single one of my mods. Thankfully we had nothing, uh, placed down, so, no, no, probably actually why I didn't notice, because it would have said, like, hey, by the way, uh, some shit is wrong. <laughs> but, also, I added, well, added two mods and changed, exchanged another. So our old hydrogen, small ship hydrogen tank mod, that mod hadn't been updated for like two years, so it wasn't balanced to what current hydrogen tanks are. It was like a tenth of what a hydrogen tank stores. This one's actually now back down proper to like a third of what a large tank would store. So that's good. And then I've added a reaction control system thruster, which won't be used, actually we can't use because we don't have platinum, so, um, but it doesn't really work in atmosphere anyways, it's more for stabilizer thrusts up in like satellites and stuff, which we will be using because I plan on uh, making drone based miners that will be up in orbit until we can actually get up there after I, you know, I destroy all of the pirate bases, and then I added in the catwalks mod right here. So these mods have all been added to the collection, and that collection is like down in the description in case you want them. But yeah, so let's get started. First things first. No patrol. Ah, don't use PC. Alright, get this out of the way. And where is that piston? Uh, sharing your sensor and reverse. Number four. Add rotor head. Share your sensor and lock the rotor. Alright. Uh, let me actually. Yeah, I don't have any parts on me. So, yeah, let me uh, get some parts out and then we can start. Uh, placing out the trailer, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I got parts, and let's start building. So, for a trailer hitch, we're gonna want... So I don't... This rotor head probably will actually stay with the trailer. And the rotor will stay, obviously, on the piston, so... I have to design it around that. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to want it up higher so it's not scraping the ground, I think. Actually, you know, I should be able to place this on here. We'll place that here and then come on. Let me place it. There you go. This on top. And it's gonna start spinning, of course. Motors and computers. Alright. 
one of these rotors is not like the other. Right now you're set to zero and spin around. There you go. Lock. Just grab all of these. Trainer's tensor and lock. There we go. Oh, actually, hold on. Also, decrease the displacement just so we avoid any collisions. I might have to move up this by one block, so we can uh, maybe. I don't know if connector her and a rotor would be a good idea, but hey, none of this is probably a good idea. Alright, so I think that'll work as our trailer hitch. Yeah, this is the right height. I'm gonna have to do a bit of the uh, tweaking of the design, obviously. But. Next question is how long do I wanna make it? This long. Alright, um. We want hydrogen tanks. Do I not have those on my bar? I don't. And I just stop flying. Yeah, this small one is just uh, the same size as like a medium car container and stuff. It's actually really nice. I've been using it on another build, which video of that might be in coming in the future, depending on uh, the next couple of weeks, because um, I'm currently moving, and I don't know if I'll have the internet in my new place, at least for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> so that's going to be fun, but... Actually, you know what, let's get some wheels on this thing before I forget. <laughs> Alright, side. It's gonna have the same basic wheel layout as... Our... Ah, Rover, so... Uh, this probably also will be able to drive on its own. Oh wait, these are... No. These are right side wheels. There we go.
All right, I'm gonna get some more of this done, and I'll cut back when I have like the wheels welded up and stuff. So, yeah. All right, so I got the trailer <laughs> welded up. Um, yeah, it kind of looks silly, but eh, it'll, it's functional, or at least I hope it will be. So I used the small hydrogen tanks. So we got six on each side, so twelve in total. It's an oxygen generator, a battery that. I get to build. We got a medium cargo container, a connector, and then another connector on top, and one more for actually like hooking up to the vehicle. So, speaking of which, we're going to start building that vehicle right now. Right here, I'm going to start building. Alright, so we're going to need some hydrogen tanks, obviously. Thinking about doing maybe one big one. And two smalls, possibly. Yeah, actually, I like that idea. So. Big one placed. And then we're going to need some thrusters. Drive interior plates. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep it off the ground. Um, gonna want cockpit. What does this new cockpit look like? That actually could work. Yeah. I like that idea. Except. these have doors on the side? No, they don't. They really need a block that has, like, this thick, but has small doors on the side. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Alright, I do need power as well. Alright, actually, yeah, so I'm gonna take the battery. This battery here. Doors on this are so weird. 
Alright, whatever. Um I need drills. But I don't want to do this. Ask the question. <laughs> okay, well, I do know there's a door here. Which will allow for those to be placed. And there should be a door up here, somewhere, like there. And this here will allow for this. And then yeah, that should be that's clearance. Some hydrogen thrusters for there. All right, next step. Cool, that's perfect. Too far. I feel like that's too far out. Yeah, that looks alright. Now I just mirror what I did. Alright, well, let me get this all welded up before I cover up too much important stuff and I can't get to it, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I finished it completely, got some thrusters and stuff and 
anchor thrusters. Yeah, there should be thrusters in every direction, but up, because you don't really need those. Um, got some lights, got an ore detector, Oops, bit of lag, battery built. So yeah, let's uh, detach it. Eh, eh. There we go. Alright, and... Adding... Bit of a bed here for it to land on. I wonder if I could get some landing gear on this thing. Um, I think there's a bit of clang there. All right, let's just I can't place that yet. Okay. Gonna add a little bit of a landing crib. Oh, I'm stuck. What? The Alright, well... I'm gonna need a lot of ice. Um, I should turn the hydrogen thrusters off. Turn those off. And I'm gonna need to go mining for some ice. I'm also realizing I didn't... I only added one, uh, oxygen generator on this thing. Let's add a second. I'm gonna add one here and one here. So, I'll do that, and I'm gonna get some ice and get this thing filled up as well. But, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, so if you enjoyed, hit that like button. Uh, if you got any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, Discord server, link to that's down below. All the mods are linked below as well. Uh, so yeah, good night. Bye.